Yo, so guys, in this video, I'm going to go through my £10,000 PSA collection. So this is kind of the 1,000 subscriber special, but we've already hit 1,500. So shout out to everyone that's been subscribing. Thanks for all the support. I uh, really appreciate it. I didn't even think this channel would grow this quick this year. I thought I'd get a couple hundred subscribers. The last two months have been crazy. I think I've got more views in the last two months than I have for the whole year. We started the channel in January uh and yeah we're growing so fast uh for i'll show you my psa collection so a bit of backstory on me collecting uh my first psa card i got i want to say september last year was my first ever psa card and once we come to it i'll show you which one that was uh there was a real card i really like i love the artwork of it and yeah i'll explain it when we get to it um but i've been opening packs for the last few years but nothing to the extent to, uh like last year well these two are the wrong way around Hold on, hold on. I don't want to mess up the order. So I pulled the Rainbow Charizard from Unbroken Bonds and I, I saw the value in it and I was like, whoa, I can't believe the cards are going for this much. I always thought cards were like two, three pounds. I always used to open packs. I had a few secret rares uh, from the packs I opened in recent years. Never knew they were secret rares or anything like that. I just enjoy opening packs. That's why I don't buy a lot of raw cards and I open a lot of packs on this channel because that's where I, where I get my enjoyment from, etc. I just enjoy opening packs regardless of the set. I just love to open packs and then chase and now I have a better understanding of what cards are in each set so I know which cards to chase for so that's why I get my enjoyment a lot of this I have bought I bought a lot of these graded and some of these are graded myself uh, so I'll kind of go through it and I'll tell you which ones I bought how much I bought them for and how much they're worth now so this kind of gives you a backstory you guys might want to follow the same suit um, but the market at the minute is crazy a lot of this are like cheap PSA cards I bought on eBay and have now been worth double if not more uh, some of them have increased in 10 times more than I paid uh, so yeah that's kind of the intro of me collecting etc a backstory if you're wondering I've obviously not been collecting for years on like a big scale of I just enjoyed opening packs and only last year I properly got into collecting understanding the sets going for specific cards etc so yeah let's get into my ten thousand pounds PSA collection so right next to me I got a spreadsheet of everything I literally spent two three hours putting everything in a spreadsheet working out how much I paid for stuff uh, roughly because some of them I can't remember I bought them at events and what they're worth now so we're going to start off with this row so I think I'll put this aside also I want to say ETB lids are perfect for PSA cards look at that um, so yeah obviously these are these two hidden fates boxes and then we have a sword and shield I like the new design of the new ETB lids so the lids on the ETBs are great for storing PSA cards if you want to stack them up like that on the shelf and I also use the bottom part to keep my submission so I have like three boxes like this this is the next submission and then every box is next the next submission so we'll show you some stuff we're going to submit towards the end of the video let's give you a teaser first few cards from here this is just a teaser of some stuff we pulled everything here I think we pulled apart from one or two um, so we'll show you a good nice teaser at the end of stuff you will see in a PSA future PSA return so the bottom of elite trainer box lids use them to store your submissions just put three top loaders in the middle to divide them and then um, the lids for storing PSA cards so let's get into this we're gonna start off with the so we're gonna start off with the Japanese shiny legends Mewtwo so I paid roughly 20 pounds for this on eBay um, PSA 10 I, I don't know, I think I bid it on this, it was an impulse buy, I love Mewtwo so I wasn't really fussed, I, I wouldn't mind having this in my collection. Uh, so Rainbow Rare is Japanese, um, Eng there's no Japanese PSA 10 sold on eBay, so this last sold in English is 300, so I think the value of this is about 150 pounds. I want to give you the values and how much I paid because it's so interesting to see something being worth 20 pounds now worth 10 times that. So I guess this is 20, I think 150. You guys kind of let me know in the, uh, in the comments. Yeah, do you agree with me on the value? Some of them will have last sales, which I'll use, but some of them don't. So I have to calculate myself average or what I reckon I can get for it. So yeah, just a little intro. So we got that one. We'll put that there, we'll put it upside down so I can put it back in the box. This one, I paid about 15 pounds for it. And I think last sale in a PSA 10 was 65. So I feel the value for a PSA 9, which this is, is about 30 pounds so this is tag bolt this is a japanese again um this is a japanese version of the team up one as you can probably tell if you know the cards you've got eevee and snorlax here beautiful combo you might see another one of these later on 
Here we have Blastoise GX from Full Metal Wall. This is the Japanese version of Unbroken Bonds, one of the uh, Japanese versions, but this is a PSA 8. I think I paid quite high for PSA for this. I paid about 15 ish again. Uh, but uh, I think there is no sold ones in the PSA 8. That's a problem. A lot of these cars don't really have solds in the lower grades. Uh, so this is, I paid 15, PSA 10 sold for 60 last time. So I reckon it's about £25 card. So it's good to see. Obviously, I'm not in it for the value. Obviously, all these characters are kind of similar. You'll see that I only collect characters I like. Regardless of the grade, as you can see, I only buy stuff I like. I only collect stuff I like. I wouldn't do anything for value or anything. But it's good to see what you collect can appreciate in value in case you get into some hard times or etc. You always have these assets there that you can liquidate and then you can buy them back in the future. They'll probably be more in the future. Uh, but yeah, you just got to be smart about it. But it's nice to know that some of these cards, you, you're spending money on something and you're not losing the value or anything like that. So yeah, this is just like a lot of cheapy. I, I pulled one before in English uh, 60 pounds the English one goes for raw so I thought yeah, yeah let me sell it uh, so I can buy some more unbroken bonds packs try and get some more Reshi Ram and Cherizards rainbow rares and you'll see some of those later on uh, so yeah I sold it just to buy some more packs I regret that because I really love Blastoise and a re full rainbow Blastoise would be epic I think I kept the regular GX from unbroken bonds but I should have kept the rainbow rare and instead of selling it so this one I bought fairly recently one of my recent this year's purchases most of these were bought last year like I said I started buying PSA cards in September September to the beginning of the year PSA cards were super cheap now they kind of gone up in price but this one I bought this year 100% it is a Lucario Mega and it's a promo comes in a box um, look at this Mega Lucario just looks epic in this full art form it's just beautiful probably one of my favorite looking Lucario cards you can get I got this PSA 10 in for 25 pounds I didn't find any sales uh, but this is PSA 10 of course I feel like I can sell it for a minimum of 50 if I was to sell it but everything here I don't think I can let go I've sold three or four cards on my uh, store famous grail and I sold some during lockdown on eBay um, and but literally everything I have left is stuff for my collection this video might be super long I don't know if you guys are gonna watch it but I hope you love this video guys because once we get here as you can see from the label already you know we got some goodies in here um, but yeah look all this stuff here I don't think I'll sell for the next year or two uh, unless I switch up I want to collect only Charizards or something like that uh, but literally everything here I love everything for my collection I don't think anything is to sell so don't talk about values it's just for your interest um, pretty much but here we have Moltres, Zapdos and Articuno love this artwork uh, this is the Japanese version this was cheapish this was about 13 13 15 pounds I believe I paid these were really cheap at one point but then yeah lots of solds at PSA 10 from uh, for 35 pounds this is the Japanese version Sky Legends um, so yeah some of those cards from that Sky Legends set made it to Hidden Fates so yeah that is the Moltres Zapdos and Articuno maybe we'll see more of those you'll see in a bit here we have Zapdos from Generations this is a PSA 7 I must have paid about 10 pounds for this uh, obviously I don't care about the value that's why it's a low grade I just love the card to get this card raw is probably around 10 pounds so to have it in case already for seven most of the raw is probably not even in good condition because it's quite for a four-year-old set not many it'll probably be in most kids binders and they're selling it raw uh, there won't be any pack fresh ones really on eBay I can see probably centering is why it's got the sevens and little 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 whitenings in the corner so probably even pack fresh and he got the seven so if I did buy one raw for ten and then grade it it'd probably come back a seven anyways but um there was a PSA 8 that sold for 30 so I think 20 pounds so it's worth double what I paid I uh, got it's just an eBay steal really this one is probably one of my favorite purchases purely because I got this one for free so what happened was I bought this on eBay about 10 this this is an expensive card so I bought it for like 10 15 pounds uh, raw is probably that price as well so that's why I bought the nine it was an auction nine I thought let me pay 15 pounds and one thing about me I haven't spent more than 50 pounds on a single card uh, before um, I'm very stingy most of the PSA cards you see in my collection uh, that I haven't bought are less than 20 pounds so that kind of shows you that like and this is a ten thousand pound collection so we'll get into the higher end stuff in a bit how i obtained them how 
how much I paid and how much they're worth now. But yeah, I'm not. This is I got for free. So basically, um, I bought on eBay 15 pounds. It came in the post, as you can see. You have some cracks here. You got some cracks there. And I told the seller. I just I informed the seller, and he's like, "Oh, I can give you a full refund. I'm not really fussed about this." And I was like, "Oh, safe." I I, I was just expecting like a partial refund. Obviously, if the case is cracked, for me to recase it, it's gonna cost a bit. Oh, I wasn't even fussed. I just like a partial refund would have been nice because the case is actually cracked. Um, I don't know. It's obviously I paid in the pictures everything. It was like it wasn't cracked and It's like scratches. I don't know. So the postman must have ruined it. But yeah, he said I'll just refund you can have it I was like cheers <laughs> So pretty much in that so what PSA 10 sell for 200 300 pounds So I feel like PSA 9 on the low end maybe 60 pounds. So for free to 60 but yeah guys literally i was only expecting a partial refund due to the card being damaged he didn't pack it properly so it's kind of his fault but he did offer it to me for free so uh shout out to that seller who sorted me out that was in my early days of collecting as well really helped out the collection at the beginning um here we got tyranta ex and yeah this is from agent oranges love tyranta one of the characters i like again a low grade uh but it's just a cool card i like i think i paid quite a bit for this because he charged like seven pounds shipping so this came to 15 PSA 10s are about 80 pounds and then uh, it's probably worth about 30 pounds in PSA 8 I believe maybe a bit less but I'm not quite sure let me know if you think it's worth less I really appreciate any honest values below so I can edit my spreadsheet etc so this one uh, Brock's Grit Evolutions PSA 8 so in my collection I'm trying to collect um, Kanto trainers so Jesse and James from Hidden Fates a lot of them will be in my next submission pile. Oh no, that submission pile's upstairs. So that won't be in my next submission. I'll probably be in the submission next. I've got like full art um, Jesse and James, full art Giovanni's, Bossy from Oscar's Orders, the rainbow one. So any Kanto original characters, anything from my childhood in the full art form, I want to collect in PSA 10s or like just encased in PSA cases. So Brock, this was like seven pounds. I think this was on Graded Gems eBay store. They had so much stuff for cheap back in the day. But obviously the prices are crazy now. So I paid, probably paid about seven, eight, nine pounds for this. Um, PSA 9 sold for 15, whereas a PSA 10 sells for about 50. So probably about 10, still a couple quid over what I paid. But um, I just want a cool Brock encased in here. We pulled loads of these raw, but I don't want to pay eight pounds to get it graded, to be honest. So here is one of those classic cards. Uh, the Ancient Mew 2000 movie promo and yeah, I bought this fairly recently I feel like the beginning of the year paid 20 for it suddenly it's now quite a bit in PSA 10 especially so last sold in PSA 8 was 50 pounds so that gives us a nice clear indication what this one's worth uh, but you gotta be careful with these because you want to make sure you want to check if it's got the Nintendo error where the Nintendo is spelt wrong uh, then it could probably be worth more etc etc but yeah I just saw this on eBay I think I bid it on this um, I thought yeah let me grab one of these in my collection regardless of the grade purely because I love this card I remember it from my childhood etc I think a lot of people remember this one everyone thought it was super expensive but it's not really so this one I always mention in my Hidden Fates openings I always have a PSA 10 Mewtwo and basically this one I accidentally bid it on it on ebay i don't know how i accidentally bid on it but i won it for 15 pounds shipped uh last sold in psa 10 is 50 pounds so luckily i bid it on that even though i have plenty of these i open hidden fates every week and yeah we have plenty of these so i can send them off get a psa 10 great to grade the card costs eight pounds i pay 15 pounds already psa 10 you get the guarantee psa 10 i don't have to wait six months for a return so so that's the benefits of buying psa graded cards as well uh, here we have one of my favorite artworks from Sun and Moon. We have Gengar and Mimikyu GX from Japanese Tag Bolt, which is in English, Team Up. This is PSA 10. I think this was one of the first uh, cards I got. This is a, I paid 20-ish, I believe around 20. I couldn't get this one for cheap, but last sold for PSA 10 is 30 pounds. So I think that's really good value if you want to PS this in PSA 10. I think that's really good value. Gengar is one of the pop most popular characters along with Cherizar, like the top five or something. So this card probably can do well, but you, we'll see some more uh, of him later on, I think. But here, another one I really love. I want the full art version of this. If you got a full art version for the low, hit me up. Uh, but this is a PSA 8 Lugia from Bl Plasma Storm. I just love this stuff i think that's the team plasma logo i just love the blue borders i just love the artwork of this and lugia being one of my favorite characters psa not much too much but again most of the things in here are low grades but just characters i love and the cards i love but yeah 15 pounds um i paid i think 25 would probably be worth psa 9 sold for 35 um so yeah i reckon 2025 would be the value for that one 
And then we have next something a bit older. I don't think we have any, anything this old yet, but we have, so here we have Feraligator from EX Dragon Frontiers in a PSA 7. I just love Delta Species cards. I need to get more. Uh, the problem is this, most of the ones on eBay are beat, and if they're not beat, they're quite expensive to buy raw. Uh, there's so many I need. Uh, I sold a few. I sold the Mewtwo. I sold the Latias and Latios for my friend. My friend gave me his collection. I sold it on eBay for him. I uh, sold loads of those, but they were beat condition, so even if I bought them off him to grade, they wouldn't even be worth it. Uh, I want to get like at least a 7 or something in, if I'm buying one raw. Um, but yeah, I just love Delta Species cards, and these EX series had so many amazing cards. Low-key cards. Um, the Charizard suddenly has gone. I got loaded Delta Species Charizards. Those were low-key for time. I bought loads of those raw. Not when I say loads, probably like three, four of them raw. But nothing in crazy con good condition. But yeah, I paid 10. I reckon tw I could get 20. PSA 9 sold for 50. So it's like I, it's like worth double what I paid. So I hope you guys are interested in value. I know a lot of you mainly probably be interested in values and stuff like that. But here, one of my favorite cards I got. So basically, this is a Charmeleon from Stormfront uh, Di uh, Diamond and Pearl. So this is actually a secret rare, and as you can probably tell, think, oh, this looks familiar. This is actually like a, uh, a Rita kind of done a modernized version of the base set art for this set. So the secret rares is a Charmander, Charmeleon, and a Cherizard. They all had this adapted artwork, which, and they're all hollow as well. And pretty much they just look like the base set, but more modern. Um, the Charizard, I got the Charmander and Charizard already in raw forms. They're not like great uh, condition. This is a PSA. I think I paid twenty pound for this, and I think last lot like PSA eight sold for about sixty-ish last sale. So I think I got a good deal there. Everything's gone up in price recently. So this, I wanted to do this video for a long time, but right now the prices are crazy. So uh, I can use ten thousand pounds as to clickbait, whereas before it'd probably be much less. But um, yeah, so the value's gone up on everything. So that's why a lot of these are, I've got for a good deal. So yeah, there's a Charmander, there's Charizard. I got a Charizard. I'm gonna send the Charizard off. I'm gonna try and wait and try and get the Charmander version of this uh, in a good condition. So I get at least eight or above. Uh, but the Charizard's probably not even gonna get an eight. It's probably like a four or five. Uh, but yeah, here we have a Jirachi. This is another one I got from Graded Gems eBay. This is from Unleashed uh, Heart Gold Soul Silver. I think I paid less than ten pounds for this. Is it hollow? It is a hollow as well. Uh, so PSA said so they had so many great deals, um, but like everything's gone for che everything cheap on eBay just flies. So now the market prices of everything's gone up. So I paid like ten pounds for this PSA nine sold for twenty five. So I at least get about about 20, fifteen quid for this one. Uh, sorry, this might be my first one hour video, so uh, I'm sorry about that. But I hope you guys will enjoy this one. Uh, it's gonna take me ages to upload. I'm gonna upload it tonight as well. But here. I bought this one off Depop. Depop I mainly use for clothes and shoes, but I search P uh, Pokemon sometimes. Well, a lot of Pokemon cards on there, but this one came up. Uh, it's a Gyarados from Pokemon Rumble, probably to go alongside the game. And yeah, there's only 16 cards in this set. This is number six Gyarados. There's a Pikachu in this um, set that I really, really need, but they're quite expensive even for Raw. But I paid about 20 pounds, maybe less. I think Raws of this card sells for 35 pounds. PSA 10s TCA gaming has one for uh, 450 in PSA 10 so uh, TCA always has a more accurate price but I think uh, raw uh, I think PSA 7 I want to say 30 but 100% it probably is worth more if I put it on auction it probably go for 50 pounds I can imagine so uh, but I just like Gyarados I think this is the only Gyarados I have in my collection so I'll have at least this in my collection it's something nice something good from a cool something different to a lot of these cards so yeah, Pokemon Rumble Gyarados. Here we have this one I also got from uh, Graded Gems eBay. Graded Gem, man, bring back the steals on your eBay. Well, this is Gr Dragonite from uh, Expedition, and this is a non hollow version. Just love Dragonite. Like I said, I only collect characters I like. I like collect artworks I like. Some of the cards I sold from my collection, I just didn't like the artworks, so I sold them. The characters I liked, but I sold them because I didn't like the artworks. Um, so everything at the minute. I love, I wouldn't sell at the moment. So this one is just a PSA 8, non holo. Um, PSA 10 is about 90, sold for 90 USD on Pokey price. So I feel a PSA 8 could be 30 ish, 30 ish pounds. Um, the reverse version probably goes for a lot more, but because it's a non holo, it goes for quite cheap, I reckon. But yeah, I probably paid less than 10 pounds for this from uh, Graded Gem. Uh, next one we have, uh, this one's probably from Graded Gem as well. Either Graded Gem or Aiden. Um, Aiden's Grayson's Game House. He hooks me up on a lot of stuff. I'll show you some stuff he gave me. Uh, I traded with him later on as well. 
but he's been hooking me up on raws, packs, everything uh, for the last year since I got into the game. I bought some stuff off him and I realised he lives five minutes away and we've just been doing deals with each other for the last year or so. Pretty much chat about Pokemon every single day. But here we got my PSA 8 Deoxys Hollow and you know I like my Delta species but this is from EX Holland Phantoms. So love the Delta species stuff, uh, just cool. I, obviously you got gold stars in these sets, you got EX cards in these sets but I just love the Delta species stuff so uh, yeah really cool. Uh, it's just it's just the way the hollow is just on the Pokemon as well. PSA 8, I must have paid less than £10 for this. Uh, but PSA 10 selling for 120 so I feel like £30 for PSA 8 would be fair. Um, here we have Team Rocket Dark Blastoise first edition non hollow. Uh, so this one was tricky. So basically, I was at MCM Comic Con. I had did a whole video on my main channel where I bought loads of PSA cards uh, from Comic Con. And there was a first edition non holo which I got now and there was a holo there was a holo version not first edition and I was picking between the two I was like but I've never had a first edition card if you can see when we used to go through this I've never had a first edition stamped card I just thought yeah let me just get the non holo just so I have something with first edition stamp on it obviously I have a lot of first edition rules uh, not with Charizard, don't worry. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think I paid around twenty pounds for it. I put an accurate screenshot of what I paid. Um, I'll screenshot it from the my vlog on my main channel. And yeah, I think it's probably worth around twenty pounds still. A PSA nine sold for sixty, so I don't think it's gone up too much. But I think if I put it in auction with the current market for what C cards, I think I'll, I'll get more than twenty pounds for it. But obviously, like I said, nothing here's for sale, so don't ask me. Uh, so here we have Blastoise from Tag Bowl, just a holo rare, love the artwork and I have a few of these in decks so you can get the, um, pull it from uh, the team up packs but there's also team up decks with the Blastoise and Charizard promo, it's got Blastoise, I've got one Blastoise deck and a few Charizard decks sealed in my collection so this is the Japanese version, uh, paid about probably £15 for it, no sale so I'll, I think roughly PSA 10 easily £30 for 10 if not more. Um, I think the English version is going up in price, especially the Shad Hollows from the Primas. Uh, the decks are going up in price. Sealed Charizard decks from Team Up decks are going up in price. Uh, but yeah, this is Tag Ball, Japanese version. I reckon about 30 quid, but yeah. Like I say, everything apart from maybe this one is worth more than what I paid. So it's crazy to think where Pokemon has been. But look, this one might be interesting. So this is a Charmander from evolutions but instead it's hollow and it has a toys r us stamp on it uh, as a kid my mom never took me toys r us she would never take me i don't know why she just didn't want to take me toys r us because i probably spent too much money or she didn't want to spend any money uh -huh, but even when I, I never actually been even when i'm older i've never really been to toys r us i always bought my pokemon at like supermarkets or wh smiths or stuff like that um like when i'm driving around i see some packs i'll grab them i'll just grab a few for fun but i never really walked into a toy store and got packs <laughs> But yeah, Cosmos, Toys R Us promo, PSA 9, I must have paid about £15 for it. I don't think I'd pay more for uh, a Hollow Rare Charmander. But I really, I, I mainly bought this just for the Toys R Us stamp, just love. I just wanted something with Toys R Us. Do we have any swirls here? I don't think we do, because the Cosmos Hollow, you can probably get some swirls. But yeah, raw versions of these sell for £40. So I think, there was no PSA uh, 9 sold, so I think £50 for PSA 9 would be fair. But I reckon it could be more because since it's a promo, promos are really hard to grade, so it could go for a bit more. But that's just my valuation, I'll probably give it. But yeah, this is a really cool card for the collection. Guys, this is probably an hour and a half video, but I want to go through my PSA collection, guys. This is one my one this is my 1000 subscriber special. Uh so really just want to show you my PSA collection, show you my collection. I could show you my binder collections in the future, but I have like a Charizard binder, I have a Pikachu binder full of tons and tons of Pikachus but a lot of stuff is in like graded, uh, grade fit ready to be submitted so I think PSA collections and PSA returns I'm gonna do loads of those obviously but this is my full collection anyways so yeah if this is a bit long uh, thank you guys for staying tuned still I hope you watch it to the end but this is an XY202 XY Pokemon League promo Mint 9 or PSA 9 I paid about 15 for it uh, PSA 10 is a hundred pounds so I don't know, I think PSA 9 would be £30 if not more, um, but I just love the artwork. I've seen this artwork somewhere before, someone put a finger on it. Is it the the movie promo from back in the day? I don't know where I've seen this artwork before, uh, but I feel like I'd recognise it, especially with the evolution style there. But yeah, that is row number one. So 
guys that I think the first row was a couple hundred pounds there a lot of cheap stuff the, this is mainly I believe yeah nothing of here I graded myself everything here I've bought uh, graded already in this box uh, this box will be a mix of graded traded and bought uh, graded already I'll go through I'll let you know which ones I've graded which ones I bought which ones uh, I traded for but yeah this is pretty much everything I bought on eBay and as you can see everything's least double in value most of them uh, but yeah let's get into row number two so i'll leave that there and yeah here we start off this is in the very recent psa return i've only had done two psa submissions so one psa return video is on my main channel and then i started the pokemon channel so the second one's on my second channel or this channel so the second video is on this channel if you want to check that i'll put that at the end of this video on the end card for you guys to check out after this but this was the card i sent off to grade so this is from shining legends pulled this from the etb i was buying shining legends etbs this year for like 30 pounds now they're hundreds and hundreds hundreds of pounds i don't even know how much they are now but they are not 30 pounds no more so I, I i believe that i got into pokemon at the perfect time like everything was such a fair price uh like i sell singles on my ebay um but i always try and put it as the lowest price i'll stick to market price but i always list it as the lowest price so i try and help the community there but i don't know how the prices are going crazy at the minute i think it's the bigger collectors that drive the market rather than the people that sell singles but psa 10 i pulled this one both sales have best offers but um they're both listed at over 100 pounds so i reckon 100 pound for psa 10 rainbow rare secret rare from shining legends and taste and this one had like white dots on it is a common problem with it's not as bad as i thought i thought it was worse so you can see but they still gave it the psa 10 if you're wondering oh yeah, i was about to crack the case there if you're wondering about that so if you got white spots if, as long as it's not too major i think they'll still pass it as long as everything else aligns up here we have a snorlax and eevee uh from team up this is a rainbow secret i pulled tons of these in my time uh but i kind of changed my collection i so at the beginning i was only collecting certain cards like i was saying with the blastoise from unbroken bonds i would sell stuff to reinvest to buy more packs so i sold the eevee and snorlax back in the day probably 25 pounds raw that was the market price last year um so i sold that i could have graded it got a 10 but this one so this one i traded with my boy uh grayson's game house aiden from grayson's game house for bulk so what he does he takes bulk every thousand cards works out 20 to 30 pounds i think in the pokemon uh, uk market so i traded him a bunch of bulk for this i can't remember a couple thousand probably and yeah this one's probably no listings on ebay last sale was 170 on pokey price but that was a few months ago i think probably about 200 pounds this would probably be worth in a psa 10 uh so yeah look so i kind of changed my direction in collecting i try and keep everything if, even if i think i like it i'll keep it just in case i don't want to regret not having it in the future uh so yeah there's one card i regret selling but aiden sorted me out when he got his return back i said yo give me that now so yeah um yeah this one here however i pulled this one this is a pikachu and zekrom i pulled this um uh last year it was just sitting in my binder i thought let me send it off i didn't even think it'll get the 10 as you can see from the centering it's not the best but this still got the 10 uh from team up love this card love peak I, like i said i have a charizard and a pikachu binder and then i have binders for the rest of the stuff uh so I, i'm a big pikachu collector big charizard collector so this is the first pikachu rainbow rare card you can get uh so yeah pulled this one myself uh last sold is about 300 and then 200 on pokey price so i reckon around 200 pounds is worth it. again raw prices for this card is about 60 70 80 pounds so try and get one asap but guys this is why uh, i think i pulled some of those rainbow rare as well and sold them so i regret doing that i would love to get like at least three of these and we'll see some double ups in the future in there in this future submission pile so here we have a venusaur and snivy i pulled this on the first day of release along with some other stuff uh sent it off and it got the psa 9 due to its centering uh so you can see it's a bit more cut off here uh, so this was the only PSA 9 I got from the Cosmic Eclipse uh, submission. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to have Venusaur and as obviously the starters. And then you can see here we've got Blasters and Piplop from Cosmic Eclipse. This I pulled later on and I submitted it in the last submission on this channel. Uh, but this also got a 9, unfortunately. I think it's a centering. I, uh, from doing my first and second submissions, I'm kind. now I kind of understand the centering side because I can compare it and work out where the centering could be a 9, where it could be a 10. So once you send off a few cards or you have a few graded cards, you can kind of compare and work out what's worth sending. Uh, like if I noticed this before, I probably want to send it off. I'll probably wait until I got another one. 
Uh, but yeah, these cards I'm not really fussed on. I just wanted to have one Venus or one Blastoise and one Charizard. We'll see Charizard later on. Um, but yeah, just because those are the stars in the set, I thought let me get one of each. But PSA 9, not too fast. Still great grade. I don't think I'll be chasing the 10 for that one either. But here we have Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia. The reason I love this card is because I used to play... The last Pokemon game I played and played heavily as a child was Pokemon Diamond. Um, I obviously had a Dialga version. Love Dialga. I think my cousin might have had uh, Pearl, so he, he likes Palkia. But um, yeah, Gem Mint 10 pulled this on release day as well. And pretty much this last sold. Oh, I didn't give you the value of this. So I pulled this one. This one's about 50 quid. So both of these are around 50 pounds PSA 9. This one PSA last sold was 100 and. Ooh, last sold is about 120. But the current listings are all over 200 pounds. So I'll keep it 120 for the valuation. But we also have two of those. So I sent one off and I sent another one off. Uh, so yeah, I have two of these in my collection stuff like this. I might just have one so I might sell this in the future I won't sell it soon because I'm no rush to sell anything uh, But yeah, I might sell this one in the future because I don't really think I want two in that card um, Here we have Reshiram and Zekrom. So obviously you guys know I just mentioned the last game I paid was Diamond and Pearl So Reshiram and Zekrom are newer characters that I don't, I'm not really familiar with but since I've opened the packs a lot of packs so I really liked I really Learn to uh, like uh, Zekrom and Reshiram, especially from the Pikachu and Zekrom um, tag team card, Reshiram and Charizard uh, tag team card. I thought, yeah, let me keep this in my collection. I had it on my eBay, it was £60 on release day, raw, and then it dropped down to 30 I was like, oh, let me send it off. Why not? Let's get it. And yeah, that, got a that one got a PSA 10, as you can see. Last sold was 150 for the Rainbow Rare. So, not so bad. Um, luckily, we got one. It's really cool with the character there as well in some of these Cosmic Clips. Cosmic Clips is a set to look out for. So many good cards, so many cards in this submission you'll see from Cosmic Clips. One later on in this row, which you're gonna really like. So yeah, I pretty much kept that. Just It's just a really nice card. I need Solgaleo and Lunala. We actually pulled one on the channel, but the centering wasn't great, so I had to sell it. Um, but I'll try and pull one another day, but yeah. That's the only Rainbow Tag Team I think I need left from that. But here we have Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno. Rainbow Secret from Hidden Fates and you can if you watch a lot of my Hidden Fates openings You know we pull like these every week. They're so easy to pull and yeah, you can see we have Three of them here and that's enough for my collection. So the rest of them I'm sending on my selling on my eBay uh, Last sold on eBay was a hundred pounds so that you can grade these easily and make a hundred pound easy It's so easy to pull. I think I have about seven eight on my eBay right now Loads of them will be PSA 10 worthy but you can even see the cut here. The centering is not even great, but still got a PSA 10. So I sent three off in my last submission. Two came back as a 10, one came back as a 9. I sold a 9. And so two of these I pulled from what I pulled. And then one I traded with my boy Aiden. Uh, I think I either paid or traded bulk for it. So uh, I can't remember there. But yeah, we got three of those. And then here we go. We got Mew and Mewtwo. So this exact PSA 9 one we pulled from a service station. So I went to the service station, WH Smiths, they have Pokemon as well. And yeah, I just bought a pack, me and my cousin bought a pack. I think we bought four packs that day from that service station. Uh, and yeah, I pulled one of these from the Unified Mind Packs and last sold for PSA 9 was 100 pounds. But then we have the PSA 10 version, which sold for 250. I actually, so the first, second Pokemon video on my main channel, cause I was opening so much Pokemon product, I couldn't upload everything on my personal channel because I'd be uploading every day like I do on this channel. If I upload it every day on my other channel, it'd pretty much be a Pokemon channel. So that's why I made, had to make another channel uh, for the Pokemon content, guys. Uh, it was probably the best decision I made because so much good content. Obviously, we opened so much. It'd all go to waste if we didn't open them on like video or stuff like that but yeah i did a video of unified minds we went to pre-release we went to install and we also ordered opened our online order so so many packs opening that video in one big video on my main channel and yeah we pulled this from the packs we got in the store so the release day i was waiting for my delivery and then we went to my local card shop and i i was impatient so I just went and bought some packs in the morning to open up and yeah we pulled the Mew and Mewtwo from that and that this is the one this is the exact one we pulled and I got a PSA 10 and then yeah uh, I, lo I love Mew Mew Mewtwo of two obviously best characters in Pokemon my top five favorite Pokemon so both of them so uh, yeah I love that card here we have Mewtwo from Hidden Fate and if you've seen my recent pictures I think I have eight of these now um, but 
yeah, you can see it's just the alternative artwork of the hit, uh, Shiny Legends ones. This is a Japanese one, so you can see it's the same artwork with the shininess. And yeah, pretty much pulled so many of these, just sent it off. Um, so we got one here and we got two. So the last sale for this one is 180 pounds PSA 10. We got eight of these. I think all of them might get PSA 10, but one. So yeah, so easy to pull. I think, I don't know why we just got so many of them. Uh, but we also have so many shiny Charizard, so it's pretty much we just opened too much product. Uh, so yeah, Mewtwo. One of, that's my second favorite card from Hidden Fates, by the way. Here we have Lucario. This might be my third favorite. Actually, the birds, the rainbow birds, then this. So this is my fourth favorite. We have Lucario, shiny. Pulled, got sold one today on my eBay for about £25 raw. PSA 10 sells for £100. That's the last sold on eBay. Uh, another one I pulled. Nothing much to talk about Hidden Fates. We just open a lot of Hidden Fates. We open over 100 tins on this channel. Make sure to subscribe for more Hidden Fates. Um, but yeah, here we have Ho-Ho. These last two were in recent submission as well. These are all I pulled. So all the cards in this side, apart from two that I mentioned, one from Aiden, and then one I traded for bulk with Aiden, everything else, everything here is what I pulled. So that is crazy. We pulled a lot of this stuff. And obviously we got so much more. But yeah, here we got Ho-Ho. Pull this, PSA 10 last sold was about £100 as well. Next we have a Rayquaza promo. So I sold some promos back in the day raw on eBay. And now this PSA 10 goes for, last sold it was between 180 and 30 So 150 I reckon is current PSA 10 value. When I got this back from the submission, it was not £150. So it's gone up very recently. And it's definitely gone recently here. This is a PSA 9. So I sent two off from my personal collection. I think I got one more left. Uh, I think I opened three or two boxes in total of these. But the PSA 9, I remember, I was about to sell it to Aiden for 35 but I changed my mind, but he was okay with that. Uh, I thought, I was like, I love Rayquaza, I need to keep him. Because um, even like Charizards, I got like some PSA 9 ones. Uh, but I'm not fussed, because if I love the character, I don't care about the grade. The last sold for PSA 9 was uh, £90. Uh, but then again, so, but it's PSA, so you can see from 35 now 90 pounds and and i got my return in june july so yeah it's gone up three times in that space of time so it's crazy here is another one from cosmic eclipse my favorite alternative art in sun and moon actually excluding some this is one of my favorite uh, alternative art so this is alternative art full art from uh cosmic eclipse you got arceus dialga and palkia like i mentioned earlier one of my favorite series of pokemon diamond and pearl so these three are amazing so last sold for this one is 200 pounds I remember I saw the raw one of this card, I pulled one recently on the channel, sold that for 50 So £200 for PSA 10 is crazy and yeah, this one's for the collection. This one I pulled, so there's two Rayquaza Mega Full Arts, there's one in Roaring Skies and one in Ancient Origins. Need the Roaring Skies one still, but this one, PSA 9, last sold was 80 I just love the card, I don't know where, I think it's the centering as you can see. Here is really really short, whereas this is really really thick. So I think that's where it got the nine. Apart from that, it's packed fresh. I packed this myself, pulled this myself. Um, so yeah, PSA nine. Really happy with that. To be honest, this card is amazing. Look at the full art megas are crazy. Like I think the they need. Oh well, the evolutions ones have gone up now. Uh, I reckon it will go go up really really soon. But yeah, I love this card. Love Ancient Origin. Still need a Kyogre and a Mega, or is it Mega or Primal? I need a Primal. Kyogre and Primal Garrod, uh, Groudon, uh, but here we have Evolutions, uh, Blastoise, Mega EX, Full Art. This one I bought raw for £10 and I graded it and came back a 10, so thank you to that seller. And we also got another card off him which came back a 10, which I'll show you later on. Uh, but last sold for PSA 10, one of these is £100, so I turned £10 to £100. So it's crazy what grading a card can do. Even all the cards I pull, if I graded everything, I could probably make 10 times my money, five, three to 10 times my money if I graded everything I pulled straight out of the pack. Uh, but yeah, now that is box number two. So this box, let me let me put this back and let me tell you about the next box. This is the last box. So about this box, pretty much. Let's move this out of frame a little bit because we need we need to focus on this box. So this box has only got Charizard, and you know in Pokemon. Most of money, most of value is in Charizard, and like I said, obviously everyone's favorite character as a child was Charizard. I'm not into, I'm not into Charizard for the hype. I was just collecting Charizards. That's what got me into it. I pulled a Charizard, 
and I looked done more research and realized how much they're worth and yeah so I'm always into Charizard I don't collect Charizards for the value a lot of these stuff are like cheap I bought cheap and are worth money now so uh, like I said I buy stuff because I like them I like the artworks etc but let's get into it and you can probably see from the label what this is so yeah all these shiny Charizards I pulled myself I can't justify 600 pounds for a raw card I can justify thousands of pounds on packs which I do but I try and make my money back from the pools or anything else trying to build a channel so I get monetized so I can make money back that way uh, we're actually 25 hours worth of views which will probably be by tomorrow and we're officially monetized by the way guys that's why I thought let me celebrate let's do this video guys we're growing crazy um, so yeah PSA 9 shiny Charizard sells for 600 pounds it's crazy to think because beginning of the year the PSA 10 Charizard was selling for 600 pounds so yeah so we got one and we got two PSA 9 shiny Charizards and there's more to come here we have a PSA 10 one and yeah last sold for PSA 10 was a thousand pounds so we got three PSA 10s shiny Charizard I pulled all of these myself that's kind of, I just love chasing stuff I just love the enjoyment of opening pack like I said my enjoyment comes from opening packs so having something like this to chase is just amazing apart from champions path champions path sucks it's pretty much like burning shadows champions path if you don't get the Charizard then 100% losing your money if you're opening those packs because the rest of the cards are rubbish apart from the God of War rainbow I really like the God of War rainbow from champions path I'll have one of those in my collection and I'll get that graded but here we have this is the card that got me if it wasn't for if I didn't pull this card that day from Waterstones I don't think I'll spend tens and thousands of pounds on packs like I do now but here is the Reshiram and Charizard from Unbroken Bronze Rainbow Secret Rare in PSA 10 so what happened was I was going on holiday I went to the pharmacy to get some shots for my holiday and yeah I just bought like six packs I think two Lost Thunders, two team ups and two Unbroken Bonds and I pulled this card I don't know how I knew but I knew this was money I must have seen it somewhere and then ever since then I just buying and buying and buying and buying packs I don't know if I made more money from buying and selling like buying packs and selling the singles keeping the stuff I like or not I'm pretty sure I must have broke even by now if not spent a couple grand but overall like I obviously I make some money back from selling singles um, but obviously if I liquidate all my collection I'll probably make all my money back especially all my singles in my personal collection but yeah so I just enjoy opening packs there's nothing much I'd rather open packs than go to Thought Park let's say but yeah so I, I get more fun from doing this but yeah we have three of these so I pulled one from the pack from Waterstones like I was saying I was going, I was going to go on holiday got some shots at a local pharmacy bought some packs on the way home um, here we have uh, two so these two I bought yeah I bought them from they got pulled these from triple blisters this is obviously before this channel pulled these all before the channel so I'll never have any of these pulls on camera breaking Nave actually pulled one re very recently from a Kangaskhan GX box if you ever see one of those boxes buy them the pack selection like he says is amazing in those uh, I haven't seen any in the UK market for months so or year, like I don't think I've seen any this year to be honest um, but yeah we have three cards this kind of kick started my like collecting back coming back into pokemon full time like as a kid like, i feel like a big kid doing it again but um pretty much yeah this is the reason why i'm collecting why we have this channel if it wasn't for this card i don't know which one do we get first it would be oh no i graded three at the same time because i that was my first submission i thought i sent some of my second but yeah um so yeah boom three of these that's the card i got me into it so here we have cosmic clips one of my favorite sets we have the we have the charizard and breaks in and yeah i pulled this on release day um sent it off got a psa 10 i think i sent it off the month after release my first ever submission so I had this a couple of shiny charizards those charizards a couple of loads of cards that return videos on my main channel if you want to check that out yeah but i pulled this one this one probably i'm not sure which one exactly but uh, this PSA 10 one and yeah last sold is 380 pounds this was 50 pounds raw like few weeks after release my boy Aiden was smart enough to buy loads and grade them um, but yeah this one I got off Aiden so he got I traded some bulk for this like I said go check him out go check out Grayson's game house if you want to check him out you could probably trade bulk with him for some stuff he's got a PSA return coming so he's gonna have some crazy stuff go check him out for when he does have that return you can trade some of your old con commons comments for some bangers which will appreciate in value but yeah so we got two PSA 10s 
and then here we have a PSA 6 so what happened was he bought one on eBay and the seller sent it with no sleeve in an envelope so all the corners were banged up as you can see they all have whitening on it and I was like yo let me take that for cheap please <laughs> and yeah he sorted me out I paid I must I can't remember what I paid or if I traded him like few bulk for it but uh, but it's a PSA 6 I reckon it's about worth about 40 pounds 50 pounds minimum um, but yeah it's just cool to have one in case regardless if you don't look at this it still looks like look it'll just what's the difference you know what I mean so uh, so that's why I don't care about the grades with a lot of these cards there's really no difference to me like if it's a card I like I don't care what grade it is really but obviously I'm gonna chase the 10 if I had one 10 I really don't really care as long as the card was free or I pulled it or like if I pulled the rainbow Charizard it came back with seven like at least I pulled the rainbow Charizard you know what I mean uh, but here we have Reshiram and Charizard from Tag Team GX all Stars. I opened about 10 Tag Team GX All-Star Booster Boxes last year and I've never pulled a gold card. I have the full gold card set now, uh, but this one I bought uh, alongside those booster boxes. I told my friend, yo, buy me one raw because I was scared the prices of this one raw would go up to £100. I don't think it did go to £100 till lockdown or till recently. Uh, so it was cheap. It was about £40, £60 for a very long time. I paid 40 on release day. PSA 10 now is about £400. So it's crazy. It was like about 150 It's dramatically sharp in price but it's pretty much the same as this one but in gold I don't think we're gonna get an English version of this I hope we don't as well so this one will retain its value because I think that's why it was cheap for ages because everyone's waiting for the English one since there was no English it's sharp in price here we have a long you know the Blastoise uh, Mega we pulled earlier the full art one I bought it from the same seller for £10 raw this very card and it came back a PSA 10 I don't like a lot of the stuff I don't I bought graded already. None of this stuff I bought raw and sent it off. Um, only this one and the Blastoise so far. And uh, Charizard PSA 6. Um, but yeah, PSA 10. And this is now worth £160. Uh, before it was probably about £50 PSA 10. And now it's shot up that high. Uh, so it's crazy to think like how much this stuff got up in price. But just love the mega stuff. I keep telling you, mega stuff is awesome. I have some more to send off. And I'll probably be chasing. There's a lot I'm chasing as well. So more mega full arts to come. Here we have a base set to Charizard. So this is probably my first um, old school Charizard. First Watsy era Charizard. So this is a PSA 4 as you can see. And I am happy with that. Purely because I bought this in a bulk deal. One of someone on uh, Facebook hit me up. He knows I'm into Pokemon. Bought this bulk in a bulk deal last year. Came with Shining Mewtwo. I regret selling the Shining Mewtwo. But I had to sell the Shining Mewtwo to pay for the bundle. So what I did was I sold loads of cards from the bundle. And Charizard and a few other cards work out free. Pre so yeah. So I have the Charizard out of that bundle. And pretty much worked out free after selling the rest of the bulk I bought of him. And PSA, I last sold in June for £100. Or £100 US, I can't remember, on Pokey um, price. So PSA 4. And obviously all the Watsi Charizards are crazy prices right now. So I'm not really fussed on the grade. At least I have one. One is better than none, guys. Remember that. Uh, even if you have a beat up one, just have one. Any Charizard doesn't really matter, guys. So £100 PSA. I paid like 150 for the bulk. Made my money back. So I got basically £100 Charizard for free after grinding and selling all the other bulk. So you can do it like that. Buy bulk. Keep cards you like out that bulk. Sell the rest. Try and make the cards you kept work out free. That's a great hustle for some people trying to get in the game. You just got to be smart about things. That's how I got into shoes. I would buy two shoes. I'll sell one. And the other one work out free if they're reselling for double. But this one, I think, is my best graded card purchase. So, some of you guys may know this. You can see how old this PSA number is. It starts with a zero. That's how old this PSA label is. Look at it. I was like, is this PSA label fake? I asked in the groups. Everyone said it's legit. It, the card looks legit. Uh, so this is a PSA 9 CD Japanese promo. Came in with a CD. You get some other cards. You get Blastoise, uh, Venusaur. Uh, Blastoise, Venusaur, I need in my collection. I haven't actually got those, but I bought this PSA 9. Already graded just like this. Obviously, you can, I wasn't collecting when they were doing PSA numbers like this. Um, for £20. And now a PSA 9 goes for £275. It, the guy, the person listed it as Charizard PSA. And that's why it probably didn't get picked up. Actually, the case is actually scratched. I put the, this plastic thing on because uh, I got loads of these from Grade Gem. Um, but the case is super scratched. So the original buyer returned it to the seller. 
because the case was so scratched for them. And obviously, I don't really care. Give me one because I, I collect anything. Like as long as I love the card, uh, you can always recase it for ten pounds. And yeah, that purchase worked out very well for me, from twenty pounds to two hundred seventy-five. So ten times over ten times increase, nearly three hundred, uh, nearly nearly fifteen times increase, nearly. So. It is that was probably my best PSA already graded purchase. So all these are pretty much graded myself apart from one Charizard and Breaking which I traded with Thingy. So all the ones now I bought raw. So it'll be interesting to see because Charizard have the biggest increase in value over time. So it'll be cool to see what the values have become. Uh, but this one is the best one for sure. So here we have a PSA 9 Wild Flash Charizard first edition. Some of the Japanese sets still continue first edition in uh, up to EXY. I'm not sure they did. I don't think they did it in Sun and Moon, but they did it in this one. This is the Flash Fire in English, Wild Blaze in Japanese. This is the Secret Rare, as you can see, 081 out of 080 in English. is also a Secret Rare card in Flash Fire. I actually have a few of these raw, but nothing in great condition as they're pre beat uh, in English. Uh, but to get PSA 9 of this card, love the artwork. Beautiful artwork. Paid 15 ish pounds maybe for this, maybe 20. Uh, last sold 60 pounds, so you can see. You make um, how much times? You make four times your original investment on this. Um, but like I said, I want to just uh, keep pushing the fact that I only collect what I like. If you collect stuff for investments, sometimes it might work, sometimes it don't. But if you love cards, if the price goes down, you don't really care because you bought it because you like it, not because of the value of it. Uh, here we have this is the Cosmic Eclipse Charizard by the Japanese version from Remix about in Rainbow Secret Red. This is a PSA 9. Um, paid about 15 maybe 20 maybe 25 I'm not sure most of the price I'm guessing because I never paid a lot for uh, singles cards etc but this was about 15 pounds 20 pounds last sold PSA 9 is 75 pounds so you can see the increase there again almost four times in value this one I didn't I forgot I even bought this so many cheapies I bought on eBay there's probably about 10 15 pounds I bought this evolution Charizards and if you can see evolution prices are through the roof for booster boxes so this is PSA 9 paid about 15 pounds last sold uh, in PSA 10 was 130 so I want to say 60 to on the safe side for the valuation of this I actually pulled one of these very recently on the channel I think it got PSA 9 because of the centering but I pulled one of these very recently on the channel we'll see if we can get the 10 there but I doubt it because the corners weren't the greatest on that one here we have the burning shadows Charizard not the rainbow one we actually have some rainbow ones I'll show you those later but uh, PSA Eight and uh, paid about ten pounds. It was super cheap. PSA. Eight. This Charizard is just an awesome artwork. Like, look at him. Regardless of the rarity, secret rare, full art version, the this is where you get the nice artwork. And this one is pretty cool. Nice computer generated Charizard, etc. Just looks really cool. PSA eight is thirty pounds. Any recent prints of Burning Shadows have terrible print quality. So if you pull one and grade one, you might not even get a nine or eight or seven. Uh, so to get an eight for ten pounds, the raw version of this card is ten pounds. So already graded. I think the last sold PSA 9 is 30 pounds. So uh, I reckon about 20, 30 pounds. This is worth. But yeah, it's a good card. Yeah, now nah, it's got a little bit of whitening in the corner. So yeah, that's why it's probably got the eight. Um, so yeah, let's see what we got here. This is my very first graded PSA card. So I saw this on a Facebook group, and it was about 20, 25 pounds. Uh, obviously, like I said, I got into the Pokemon from Unbroken Bonds, and this is the card, the set that got me into it, and this is the Japanese version, of course, and yeah, £20 for a PSA 10 card, why not, and yeah, that kind of paid off now, now it's £75, last sold PSA 10, £75, love the artwork, you'll see a cool version of this later on, I'll show you that in a bit. Here we have a pre-release Charizard. So I bought one of these raw. I would love a staff version, but they are silly money. I can't. Oh, I don't. I don't want to think about Vivid Voltage. It's going to be so expensive. I need to find a staff Charizard and staff Lugia. Oh, I could imagine it now. A couple hundred pounds down in my pocket. And you know me. I said I don't pay more than fifty pounds for any single cards. The most I ever spent was seventy. But I sold some cards to pay for that one. Whereas the other ones I paid £50 for, I just paid £50 for, I didn't sell any cards to buy that. Uh, but the most I've ever spent, like all these PSA purchases were like £20, £25, £30 maximum. So I've never spent a lot 
on singles. I always just like buying packs because that's where I get my enjoyment from again. Uh, but yeah, PSA 9. So these are really hard to grade because they come in like plastic little uh, packets. And yeah, the corners are not the greatest. You guys probably can tell. But PSA 9, I paid £40-ish. I'll give you a screenshot from my MCM Comic Con vlog, which I where I got it from. And now PS last sold is £140. So three, two, three times your money, a little bit more on this one if you bought it last year. And then here we have Dragon's Majesty, PSA 9, it was another cheapie, probably about £10, PSA 10 wasn't even much more than this, I should have bought the PSA 10, because the PSA 10 goes for quite a bit, but the PSA 9 goes for about £30 last sold, nice Charizard, you can get some non-holo versions of these, the new Attack Academy have one of these, non-holo with a little stamp in there, uh, I, put a screen, I put a picture there, I just sent a picture to my boy Aiden, I told him invest in these boxes guys. I told him to invest in this box because these, these cool little stamps look awesome. I want to get some graded like with those stamps. So I got two of those Battle Academy boxes. But almost done guys. We have, well, you can see some gems right there. Um, but yeah, we have uh, Dragon Storm PSA 10. So it's the same as this, but the Japanese version. Dragon Majesty's English, Dragon Storm's Japanese. Uh, so PSA 10, I must have paid about 15 pounds. Again, Japanese is always cheaper than uh, English. So I got the PSA 10 cheaper than the PSA 9 English, um, but last sold was 70 pounds I believe. So, so this is epic that I actually put it on the Excel, so you guys can like, I can give you the information quickly. If I'm looking them all up, this video will probably be like five hours long. But yeah, it's from 15 to 70 pounds last sold, and here we have. Okay, so this one similar to the base set two. I bought a bulk deal, so I bought a bulk deal for about £200, it was a bunch of hollows, but I had Crystal Lugia, it had um, Crystal Crobat, uh, what else did it have, it had uh, Shining Celebi, two of those, Shining Raichu, and they were all PSA 1 condition, they were battered, and this was last year, maybe 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 last year maybe early this year i uh, bought that bundle on facebook someone hit me up again uh everyone knows i like pokemon if you follow me on in my instagram my main instagram if you made it this far follow me on my main instagram i post sneaker shots but on my stories i do share pokemon on there like today i put a story of some evolutions that i have since evolution has gone through the roof uh but yeah i bought a bulk of that i sold everything else in that bulk Everything was PSA 1 condition, so uh, I didn't get crazy prices for everything, but this worked out free, if not very cheap. It worked out about £20 once I sold everything else off to shipping and fees. But what the thing is, on Poke Pokemon price, last sale was a couple months ago or last year for 100 US in a PSA 1, but uh, when I did my Pokemon video, when I did the return video of this, I messaged one seller in the Europe, because uh, only Pokemon price only get into prices from USA. But one seller in Europe sold one for 200. But recently, I just checked now, one sold for 600 in PSA 1, which seems a bit high. So I'm gonna say it's valued about 300 for this. Uh, but yeah, they're saying last sale was 600 on eBay. Um, so yeah, I just love this card. Regardless, like I said, one is better than none, guys. It's better to have at least one of these in your collection. If you, especially if you're buying bulk, sell the bulk, it works out free or cheap, then that's that's perfect, guys. That's what, you, that's what I recommend. A lot of people ask me how to afford this stuff. I just grind, I'm stingy. I don't like, I buy packs so I can make my money back on the packs. I buy them at a good price so I can reinvest. I can sell the singles, buy more packs, etc. So you just gotta be smart. Uh, obviously, I have other businesses. I know how to play the game, etc., etc. But here, all right, this one I bought graded. So this is actually, wait, yeah, this is the this is the first Watsi Charizard that I bought graded. PSA one. And crazy thing is, guys, you know that MCM Comic Con event? I showed you a couple cards I bought in that event. I could have got a PSA six, seven, or five or six for sixty pounds back then. Now a PSA six is four hundred pounds. But this PSA 1 I bought during lockdown, uh, I knew the prices were going up, they were going up. Um, I was seeing auctions for 80, 90 pounds. So I bought this on Facebook for about 60 pounds or 60 or 70 pounds I paid for this. And the last sold for PSA 1, Charizard uh, base, original base unlimited is 150 to 190 for PSA 1. Uh, so that kind of shows you the craziness like same 60 pounds 70 pounds. I paid in during April March Was it April April May? I paid uh, 60 pounds for it 70 pounds um, That time last year I could have got a PSA 6 or 7 for the same money But that time last year I was 
like end of last year I was only paying 20 30 pounds per PSA card like 15 10 pound PSA cards uh I would rather have the basic chairs on, but I'm glad with what my, how my collection's gone, how what I've learned, etc, etc. So I'm not fast, I'm not taking myself. Obviously, that's probably one of my only regrets from Pokemon collecting so far. Apart from selling my childhood collection in high school. Because um, I don't know, if, I don't even know what I had as a child, I can't remember. But I regret selling it, so I never, I'll never know what I had, if I had a base set Charizard or not. But... Yeah, next one is another Charizard. This is from Flash Fire. My first deal with um, Aiden, he actually gave me a Flash Fire pack for free. I opened that up. Um, but now they're £35 for a pack. Well, he actually gave me one for free. Um, so, yeah, this is why we just kept on doing good deals. He used to just throw me packs at me, and now everything's gone up crazy. So, he hasn't been throwing packs at me anymore, but he has been hooking me up on a lot of deals, a lot of info. We help each other out, etc. But shout out Aiden and Grayson, Grayson uh, Game House. He's been helping me out during my Pokemon collecting days and yeah I hope he does well with his store but um, yeah Pokemon Charizard Flash Fire this is just a regular hollow uh, there are some mega ones in that set as well I want to get the mega one with the gold text as a secret from Flash Fire I haven't got that one I really want that one since last year should have bought some last year because there's so many fakes on the market of that one as well as the prices have gone crazy but PSA 9 at last sold is £35 I paid about 15 for it so we're making it'll be worth double like I said, I could sell this whole collection. Obviously, I'll give you the total value of everything here. I've got it in a spreadsheet, so here we go. Here is a Charizard Evolutions, and Evolution is crazy at the minute. Raw Charizards are going for 100 to 200 pounds. Uh, PSA 10, Randolph has told me he's paying 1,750 for PSA 10. Um, and then PSA 9 is like four, 500. Like, this card before Logan Paul's live stream was a... 30 pound raw card it was a psa 9 was like maybe 80 pounds psa 10 was about 150 i don't know but now guys it's crazy the market is crazy absolutely crazy but this is only a psa 7 i think that i bought this in mtm comic con um i was choosing between this or the base set version base sets version was obviously 40 pounds more <laughs> but so i just bought this one at least i had one in my collection but yeah 60 pounds last sold on pokemon price um that's the American market sold price. So yeah, £60 uh, once I converted it over. But yeah, at least I have one, but I have eight of these raw. Eight or nine, I can't remember. I was supposed to picture my Evolution Charizard. The top row is Evolution Charizards in that picture. I just popped up, but yeah, guys, it's crazy to think that value. I hope I get some tens out of those, but I'm um, very doubting it. If you've seen the ratio, the pop report between the 10 and the nine, it's crazy. That's why it's worth so much. That's why the 10 is worth so much. So we have a Charizard from the Detective Pikachu promo. It's one of it was from one of the boxes. Love the artwork. Love the movie. This is another. Uh, I watched the movie when it came out. Um, one of the reasons why it kickstarted my uh, love for Pokemon again. I've got one of my followers works in a cinema, so I got the booster the Pokemon cinema packs uh, early, and I was opening them on my main channel. So I've always wanted, I had the idea when I started my Pokemon, uh, my main channel, I want to do collectibles, I want to do cars, I want to do uh, streetwear clothing. So one of the collectibles I always loved is Pokemon. So I opened those up on the, uh, that channel, got like 8,000 views in a couple of weeks. There, so Pokemon was always, I was going to do it on the main channel, but because of the amount of Pokemon we were buying, I would have to upload a video every single day, which I couldn't spam my main channel with that sort of content. I uh, wanted to mix it up, a fair mix of stuff. Uh, mainly clothing and the fair mix of cars and collectibles uh, but if I was doing Pokemon videos every day I may as well start a new channel which is what we've done now and I'm glad I've done that because we're already growing to this place where the channels are almost monetized we hit 1500 but yeah Detective Pikachu the promo packs I got from the guy that worked at the cinema kinda got me into wanting to open more packs etc and do more Pokemon content um, and just enjoy opening packs but yeah I paid 30 for this during lockdown or early lockdown time um, and yeah now it's 120 last sold so this kind of this just like popped in price this went just went sharp in price I think I bought the last 35 pound one on eBay and it shot to about 60 then it would shop to 100 um, so this one I saw my PSA 9 one I didn't even know I had a PSA 9 in this I went through my collection I saw I had a PSA 9 I put it on uh, my store famous grail to kickstart the Pokemon uh, products we sell on there so we're selling graded cards and we're selling um, packs on there we're not selling singles on there singles will go on eBay so yeah we sold our PSA cards on my main site so if I get anything I'd, if I decide to sell anything here 
it will go on the on my famous grail store so uh this is the second last card guys don't worry but last sold it's crazy to see in a few few months even immediately four times your money back if i was to sell that but here we have just a random one it was just cheap this is a coro coro magazine promo you could probably recognize this one from uh ex it's a promo card in um an xy promo card you get in one of the boxes but coro coro promo has this little coro coro logo here uh so it makes it much better but it's a psa 5 um i'm not really fast like i said if i love the card i don't care the grade if i just like to have stuff in case it's just cool like it's just so cool to have a plastic case for your cards you can't bend it anything so just cool to have um but i paid like 10 pounds maybe i feel like i paid less for it because it was a five uh but no sales for the grade but i reckon uh it would be worth about 20 pounds to be honest what do you reckon i can get 20 pounds for this is just put it, if i put it on my personal website obviously uh my people that follow my personal instagram would uh support me and buy it because it's just a charizard or it's just generally a cheap charizard psa card so 20 pounds probably a good valuation for it if not about 15 pounds uh but that is this is all charizard so that's pretty much all the value so boom probably most of the values are in the charizards especially the the hyper res the secret res that i've pulled um shiny charizards of course uh three psa 10s are thousand pounds each that's three grand there that's more than my vw polo um then we have two PSA 9s, those are 600 each, that's where the majority of the value is. And then we have these, these are 400 each and there's loads of secret rares, as I showed you. Those are where the hundreds and hundreds of pounds are. So guys, if you like this PSA collection, I'm sorry it's so long, but I have to do it. Some videos will be long like this, but as long as you enjoy it guys, I'm glad I was able to show you my PSA collection. This is my 1000 subscriber special, so make sure to like, make sure to subscribe. The total value for all these three here, which I'm slapping right now, is 12,000. And 50 pounds from the values of the prices i said it's worth now uh i didn't calculate how much has gone up since i bought it because a lot of the cards i pulled the amount of money i spent to buy those packs to pull finally pull that i can't calculate obviously um so obviously i can't tell you how much i spent and how much it's worth now a lot of the cards as you can see like the best example is this one paid 20 pound for it to be worth 200 plus now so you can see the increases there like this one's like 20 pounds i paid now probably at least 100 pounds so you can see the increases there and obviously the pool some of the cards will also keep going up i think a pokemon's at a point where it's just slowly going up i don't think it's going to take a i don't think it's a bubble it's not going to go up and then down i think it's just gradually going up if you look at the market trends you can just see it's gradually going up unless it's like what's he what's he's shop in price but like the shiny charizards they're gradually going up now they're slowly going back up uh so they're at a point where they're just settling a bit higher now they're just going up and up and up a little bit by every day but guys i hope you like my collection um obviously we have a lot to send off this is just the start of my collection i've only had two psa submissions so all the cool stuff you've been seeing me pull i haven't been able to send it purely because the delays at psa i'm not waiting six months for my return um psa returns were usually like three months my first submission was uh one month uh but that was like express service um but at the minute with the, all the delays it's just taking so so long Yo, so i'm just gonna go through my psa submission i haven't said anything off since january obviously i've done two psa submissions one of uh videos on my old channel one videos on my new channel so i haven't done anything since we pulled so much stuff we bought so much product since our second submission so i'm gonna go through things i bought i um so this is going to be the first submission I'm sending. Obviously, I told you I got like, three boxes like this full of stuff to send. It's going to cost a lot of money. I might break it down into bits. We'll see how it goes. But guys, uh, once if I do grade all this, I think the valuation of my collection could go to uh, 20,000 to 50,000 if I grade all this, depending on the grades, depending on the valuations once they're graded. So let's start bit by bit. So here we have... Well, we got a nice selection here. I'm just going to go through them quickly. I don't want to take too long. So, obviously, Sword and Shield. Uh, we have um, promos. Uh, we got Champion's Path here. And so much cool stuff. We've got Darkness Ablaze. I just want to give you a, like a little insight of what we have, what we've pulled, what we got, and you what you can expect to see from this channel. So, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And look, we got three more shiny Charizards. Uh, plenty of secrets. Look at these. These are from Rebel Clash. We've got Team Up now. 
uh, we have not a Dialga, I even forgot I had that, Salamans, I forgot I even had this, uh, Dialga, is that Pal Salamans, Dialga, so many, oh, I love this one, um, and then we've got Latios, I'm sure i got some more, let's have a look, the Salamans VMAX, and then here are Hidden Fate, even more Mewtwo's, look at the amount of Mewtwo's we got guys, we got 8 Mewtwo's including the 2 we graded, these are all Hidden Fates, these are all for my personal, I think some of the doubles I will sell, uh, but at least one of each are for my personal collection. Those are my favorites from Hidden Fates. I think I pretty much got all the Hidden Fates cards I need. So let's get the first few out here. Some crazy stuff. Tag Team All Stars now. Look at that. That's the full gold set, including Cherizard. We got already here. So Secret Res from Tag Team All Stars. My favorite Secret Res we had in Tag Team All Stars here. Then we got some Evolution Full Arts. And this is uh, the Primal Groudon, I think, from Primal Clash. Uh, these are Hidden Fates promos. Full arts now. Uh, we got this promo, and then this is the last one we need for the Blastoise and Charizard Mega set. And then here is from Shining Legends, the secret red test tube Mewtwo. Uh, I'm not sure what that will grade because it's got like the spots on it. Common floor with um, Shining Legends. So we got Shining Eevee, we got Shining Mew from Shining Legends. Oh, and look at the amount we have here. Look, look at the Charmeleons. Few Charmeleons. These are all. Because obviously I have the Charizard, got to have the Charmeleons, and these are the Charmanders. These are all I need to send off. Guys, these are all I've pulled on the channel, all I have to send off. I did buy a few of those Charmanders in the beginning, but yeah, here's some. This is the new uh, Legendary Heartbeat open out on the channel. Kind of for a spoiler of what we pulled uh, in our second box, but oh well. Some more heat here. These cards, man, the prices of these going up. I paid like £20 for these, now they're about £100 each. These, I paid £20 each, now they're £100. I might pay £40 for that or something, but I don't want to ramble too long. And then look at that legendary collection. Paid £50 for this, it's not the best condition, but like I said, it doesn't matter about the condition sometimes. At least you have your favourite cards in case. And look, some more stuff. You see a little swell there. Also, we have two of these, right? So I'm just going through them quickly. Some, these are just used. Rainbow uh, Charizards from Burning Shadows, a card I can't pull, so I don't mind the condition of those ones. Here's some base. Those are, no wait, this, these three are from base. Then we have the CP6, this is probably going to get 10 hopefully. And then, then we have, these are Evolutions, with the price of Evolutions right now, PSA 10 selling for over £2,000. We have plenty, all these have been pulled, I've been holding these for the last two years. I uh, pulled all of these myself and yeah, I can't wait to get these graded. So the reason I want to show you my PSA submission, the next one, is because once we do get all these graded, I think my collection, my PSA collection, will be about 20 to 30,000. A lot of these are averaging over a couple hundred pounds each in a PSA 10. All these are mainly packed fresh, so it could even possibly be a 50,000 pound PSA collection once these come back. And I can't wait to do a huge uh, PSA return video when these come back. Uh, so yeah, these, I thought I'd show you because we're missing so much stuff um, graded, obviously with the delays, I haven't been able to send them off during lockdown everything was closed uh so yeah once we get these graded the collection will be worth so much more but it's just stuff i've been accumulating this year some stuff i had since last year that i decided to grade for the next submission but just because of the delays i haven't been doing it and yeah i just gotta work out if i'm gonna do it in small bits or if i'm gonna do one big submission which i ideally want to do but it would get expensive so we might need a sponsor graded gem if you're watching this shout me uh, i'm joking but guys if you like my collection make sure to like make sure to subscribe i appreciate everyone watching my video appreciate the support if you watch this hour-long video i really appreciate it. i just wanted to go through my psa collection even i was curious what i had what was the value of it because obviously we had loads of little random bits that we bought for cheap and i, I was just i hope i inspired some people to start collecting you can buy some cheap stuff for it to go up in value you just gotta look hard enough you gotta be on facebook groups you gotta check ebay every day as long as you're dedicated to the hobby you'll get some good rewards out of it that's my advice but guys can't wait to send this off guys because imagine this comes back our collection goes up to 50k if you want to see that make sure to subscribe because this will be a huge 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 opening like look at this we have we pulled all these on the channel these three have been pulled on the channel we pulled these since we started the channel um all these darkness of blazes six darkness of blaze charizards those have been on the channel this is my first uh cosmic clips charizard that we pulled on the channel uh so many everything we pulled on the channel guys so make sure to like make sure to subscribe and hopefully i can bring you epic pokemon content like we have been doing every single day so yeah make sure to subscribe and i'll see you next time guys peace I'm <laughs>